everyone. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, uh, I am here with our Week 17 season finale list of picks. And I, um, I expect a panel of people, but at the moment, I just have Dave Mazzini with me. But we will get, uh, the two of us will start it out and we'll get going with it. And then um, as things, uh, as things develop, maybe some, the other two will join us and then we will talk about uh, whatever games that they happen to uh, log on for. But um, given that, Dave, it's nice to have you back on the show. Thanks for having me. At least I'm the one person that takes this seriously. So <laughs> right. I, was, I was logged in before you. So yeah, that's true. That is true. All right. Well, we we might as well not delay. Let's get right to it. The first game we want to talk about is the. Vikings and the Lions. And uh, in this game, I'm going to start off and I'm going to say that I've got the Vikings in this game, especially since we don't know the status yet of uh, Stafford, whether he'll be out for the game. And if he is, that'll be Chase Daniel quarterbacking the Lions. And <laughs> if he's quarterbacking the Lions, I don't care how bad the Vikings play, they're going to win the game. So what, what are your thoughts on it? Way to get the most meaningless game right out of the way. This game is not probably not even watchable unless you're a Dalvin Cook fan. So, um, yeah, Chase Day, the, basically the Buccaneers, which everyone thought they looked great last week, but they were playing against the Lions, like, C team, because I think everyone had COVID, and the Lions are just the Lions, and they suck every single year. So... I, there's no way the Vikings cannot lose this game, I think. I think Kirk Cousins could throw four interceptions and they still win. Well, I certainly hope you're right. And also, I want to recap I'm just, just quickly here. Oh, yeah, Bob's got to toot his own horn now. I do. You're right, I do. <laughs> this is what the show's about. This past week, I was 12-4, and four, despite the fact that the Jets won again. <laughs> I was 12-4. and four. And over the last five weeks, I've been 51 and 27. And that puts me at 60.9% um, right now going into, the, into this particular week. However, this is going to be a tough week to call because you got a lot of teams that are out of the race and you got some teams that don't really have much to play for. Their playoff seating is, is pretty well set and nothing much is going to change whether they win or they lose. So might as well pick the lines then if you, you're it won't <laughs> matter. So the next game we're going to talk about is the Falcons at the Buccaneers. There's a good game for you to discuss. <laughs> the Falcons played the Chiefs incredibly. Yeah, they did. The, the Falcons actually they've been playing, they have been playing pretty good football of late. So, um, yeah, ever since they got rid of Dan Quinn, they're, they're a little bit of a different team. So they're dangerous. And there he is. And there he is. Chris Dufour. Has look, at been the, look at the hair. It's sculpted. It's yeah. like, like Michael Antle wakes up in the morning and does his hair. It's incredible. <laughs> and that picture behind you, Dave, is that a, is that a likeness? It is. It's my, it's, it's the, Bob's not the only gorilla in the room now. So, right. Hey, Bob. How are you doing, Chris? Uh, we are right now, you, you joined, you happen to have joined on the second game. We are talking about the Falcons and the Buccaneers. Who do you have in that game? Oh, man. Oh, geez. I don't know. You think the Bucs will rest anybody? Um, I don't know because I think they have something to play for. I've Seeding, I know, but, man, I, I the Bucs are home. I'll take the Bucs. You got to take the Bucks. I mean, I heard Brady might not even play though. I heard that uh, on on Sunday, so we'll see. It's a hard, it's a hard week. 
seven, week 17 because some of these teams are going to rest. I know the Chiefs are going to rest everybody, they said. so. The Chiefs are resting everybody? Yeah, all the starters are resting. So. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. They have nothing to play for. Yeah. yeah, well, they're number one already. That's true. And also, um, we did the first game, Vikings-Lions. Who do you have in the Vikings-Lions game? <laughs> That's funny. Vikings-Lions, <laughs> man. Jeez. Lions are playing their second or third string quarterback, right? Stafford's out for the year. And then the Vikings are horrible. Man, that's a toss-up. I'll go Vikings. You're going to go Vikes, all right. We I'm going to go on the Kirk Cousins train. The Kirk Cousins. Doo -doo. Like Eric, I'm going to ride with Eric Azalki. He's yeah. actually played. <laughs> Kirk Cousins, I mean, he gets a bad rap, and maybe rightfully so, but he's played well last – This I think right. overall this year. And you know what? Their defense hasn't been great, which doesn't help. So they play from behind. Yeah. Can't put it all on Kirk Cousins. No. Sure. Right. All right, so – the next game we've got is I, I picked the Bucks over the Falcons too, as much as and because I, I didn't get my pick in. I think you did. To make sure Maz gets his time here. But anyway, <laughs> right. just, the next like the next game, the the next game we're ready I came to... in like a storm, Maz. I know. <laughs> we got the Jets at the Patriots, and you oh, know, boy. in this one, I am going with the Jets. <clears throat> the only time you've done Jets. that, they. They lost, right? The one time you went with them. You did pick them once and they lost, yeah. Just barely, though, right? Didn't they blow yeah, that game at the end? Wait. Well, yeah. I picked, yeah, that's true. I did pick them one time and they and they lost the game that I and that I picked them in, yeah. It was against the Patriots. I remember that. Yeah. They well, just yeah. got them late. And now the Patriots are looking more dismal, so. Yeah, Cam Newton does not look good. He's got no weapons, but he, I mean, he was throwing ground balls. I watched a little bit of the game, and it was, like, when he was on the field, it was terrible. I mean, the Bills were far superior, but Cam Newton, there was something wrong with him. I don't know if it's COVID uh, or what, so. No, he's just bad. I mean, you could tell because what you were alluding to, that one pass play, he, he made a great play to elude. He's so one-dimensional. He, he made a great move to elude the rush. And right, and then he and then he starts running towards the line of scrimmage, forward towards the line of scrimmage, and he throws the ball to a wide open receiver in the ground. Yeah, like literally five yards ahead of where he should have thrown. He threw it into the ground, and so it one hop to the receiver. It, it's bad. The guy was wide open. It was a first down. It was a third down play. It was first. It was an easy first down. I feel bad. So, who you guys got in that game? I'm going Jets. The Jets are hot. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and, and it's not like they're going to get Trevor Lawrence if they lose. So I, I, I'll take the Jets. All right. So far, all of us have the same picks for every game, which is that's exciting. I'm not going to this time this week. I'm not deviating just to please the masses and try to have some mismatches, though. Well, right, because now you're on the record. <laughs> I was. I'm always on the record. You're what was your What was your record last week? What'd you end up? Twelve and four. Wow, good. Very good. Yeah. So you're above that magical 600 line? Yeah. I am. I am above it. I'm at 60.9 right now. We got to keep you there. So we got the Dolphins at the Bills. That's and a good game. In this one, I, I think I'm still going to go. I'm going to go with the uh, Bills in this game. Mass? Um I think the Bill. I mean, I don't – I'm not I'm not rooting for the Bills, but I know – but. I think they're better, but I think the Dolphins need this game more. They, they got to win to get in, I believe. Yeah, yeah they're they, one of three teams that have to, if they win, they clinch a berth. Yeah, yeah so if, the if, they, on. if they lose, they need help. But, I mean, I'm, I'm actually rooting for the Dolphins, but so I'm kind of – I mean, I think the Bills will win, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go lean towards the Dolphins just because they have more to play for. It's in Buffalo, right, Bill, Bobby? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a tough man. I'm going to go with the Bills. Yeah. All right. I don't think the Dolphins, uh, they're, they're a little banged up, and uh, they do need to win that game to get in. But I'm actually predicting that they don't get in. I think the Colts will win, and the Dolphins will lose, and the Colts get in. All that's right. What's, that's I can, what I'm predicting. I can see that happen. I can see that happening. It would be nice to see some Fitz magic, though, in Buffalo, like kind of come back home, come off the bench and win the game. There's That'd nothing like a little Fitz magic. I mean, that, that play last – I don't know if he's got any left after last week, though. That was unreal, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Next one we got Steelers Browns. And this one is in Cleveland, but I am going to go with the Steelers. Steelers. Yeah, this is another game where Cleveland has to win to get in. If they lose and the Colts yeah. win, then the Browns would be out in that scenario. So I'm going to take the Browns at home to get it done. I think Baker was sufficiently unhappy with himself. He's going to have a good week of preparation, and I think the Browns are going to come out and, and win that game. Don't be surprised. I mean, the Colts got – or the Steelers – I wouldn't be surprised. It was a hard game to pick, but – Yeah. That well, we'll see. Matt? I'm going to – it's nothing based – it's going to – just pure history because I feel like the, the the Browns they just can't ever get over the Steelers and I figure I figure they just figure out a way to muck this up in the in the Steelers burn them Browns miss another year after what after a promising you know October and November and they miss the playoffs. All right, so you're going Steelers? Yeah, I mean I think Baker implodes. I'm going to call it. All right, I'm going with Baker. And I think the Browns, it's 2020. It's been all crazy anyway, so the Browns are in. All right. All right. And, Bobby, who are you taking? Me? I'm taking the Steelers. Okay. Are, they, are they resting, Ben? I don't think they are. I mean, I hadn't heard that they are, but. I mean, at some point, all these guys are going to get start getting rested, right? I mean, J Allen and Buffalo will sit at some point. It's just a matter of. How if they play at all, or they're going to play a quarter or two quarters, or what? You know. I wonder if Bob had a if the Bob had a daughter, would his was would her name be in the corner? Because I see Olivia and I see Ava. So in <laughs> if Bob had a daughter, he wouldn't be doing this show right now. Yeah. <laughs> he'd be sleeping because he'd be so tired. <laughs> the man has no ability, uh, no idea how much energy it takes to have. Hey, you know what I spent the day doing? I spent the day doing all uh, everybody's cuts. Because yeah. I hadn't looked at my email for like four days. So I had like 100 emails in there. And most of them were Elmwood people with the cuts and people talking about their cuts and why they cut this guy. And so I had to weed through all of that. And then I had to go through in my spreadsheet and do all the cut downs. It was a working. This? What is this? What Do you see what that is? All, all on the government dime he did it. No, he's off this week. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Off this right. spared him. All right, we give he spared the government this week. All right, so anyway, we got Cowboys Giants. How you like him this is one? It, wait, isn't Mazzini a Cowboys fan? Yeah, he is. Uh, I'll let him go first on this one. I, I I'm a longtime fan, but I, I actually don't to really hate them because of their owner. I feel like this is the perfect scenario for them to get in the playoffs. Um, they should win this game. I mean, they, they should. should. And I, I agree with you. They should, and I'm thinking the boys. Watermelon, watermelon smashing aside, if they play like they did against the Eagles, I just feel like I just don't have a lot of faith in McCarthy. I feel like Joe Judge is a better coach. The McCarthy. Cowboys are the only team in the NFC East with a functioning offense, I think. That's and, correct. And, you know, I'm, but I'm going to, against better judgment, I'm going to go with Dallas. I'm going to. They're just playing better. The Giants are pretty banged up. Um, and, I, I mean, we'll go into the other game, but I'm going to lean towards Dallas. All right. What do you got, Chris? Yeah, no, I think I think uh, you guys are right. I think, uh, you know, Dallas, I, I mean, uh, they've been playing really well. It's it's awesome. It's one of the great stories because of all the midseason ripping on the Cowboys and how bad they were. And, I mean, you got the Giants at home. They, but they've lost three straight. They were five and seven. They had golden opportunity, and they've just been so bad. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter who's behind the center, McCoy yeah. or Jones. They are just offensively inept, and uh, the Cowboys are hot. And you know the thing about it is, if you Andy Dalton has streaks like this, he's always had streaks like this, and if he can ride it out one more week, uh, then I think the Cowboys will be in the playoffs because I think the Eagles will up, will take the Redskins. Uh, we'll get to that. They'll but, uh, the, yeah, I'm going with the Cowboys. They'll be the first team to ever allow 30 points a game and make the playoffs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And All they'll right. be 7-9. and nine and We got to move along now. All right. Moving along, Bobby. Keep it a pass. 
We it's, got, only, it's only been 10 minutes. We got, we got, 40, <laughs> we got 40 minutes. We, Don't no, push this I, out, Bob. Come I got until 6.15, and right now it's 5.46. So. 29 minutes, what, and we are halfway through, babe. <laughs> Bob's running the two-minute drill. We got the... <laughs> We've got the uh, Ravens at the Bengals. I am going in this one. I am going with the Ravens because the Ravens have got to win the game. And the Bengals aren't playing for anything. And Joe Burrow is out for the year. He's not going to play. So I'm going Ravens. Dude, he's been out for the year for like eight weeks. Yeah, well, I know. But news uh, for you, new breaking news. I just want to make the point. He's not coming back a surprise or anything. So. He's not like Scrooge and Marley. He's not going to make a special ghost appearance. <laughs> What do you want to you want to go do? Go no, ahead. I, I like you. You you know you you sound really smart right now. So I'm just gonna let you talk. I mean, I like the Ravens. That I loved how the Bengals played against the Steelers. I mean, if they play like that, that would be a good game to watch. They they played inspired. The Bengals even won last week. Yeah, yeah. Houston, and that was a great game. That was a great. Um, game. So, I mean, they are playing well. Um, I am not a big Lamar Jackson fan. I think he's not a great quarterback. He's, he, you know, he needs a lot of help to, to do well. This is a winnable game for him, obviously. Um, so I'm going to lean towards the Ravens, although I would love to see a Bengals upset because I don't want to see the uh, Ravens in the in the playoffs. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I think the Ravens will probably stand up and win this game. I think their defense is going to be too much for the Bengals. And I think that Lamar Jackson is a pretty good quarterback. Yeah. And he has a ton of weapons, which is helpful. Uh, so I think the, I think the Ravens will win this. And, right. and the coach, real quick, the coaches Harbaugh has got way more experience in these games. You know, yeah, better, better coaching. Too. That's true. All right, we've got the Jaguars at the Colts. I am going with the Colts. The Colts have got to win the game to get into the playoffs, and the Jaguars are not really playing for anything. In fact. They, if they're playing for anything, it's for Trevor Lawrence, and they need to lose the game. Well, no, they really they, don't. They, they I think they already got Trevor Lawrence sewn up. Yeah, they got Trevor yeah. Lawrence locked up. But so they're really not playing for anything. But the Colts need to win to get into the playoffs. So I'm going to go Colts. I'm going to go Colts too. I'm, I was kind of rooting for them. Um, I think they're one of the teams that they got in could really threaten the, the Chiefs because they got a great defense. They got a couple of good running backs. As long as Phillip Rivers doesn't, you know, channel his, you know, type of quarterback play where he'll throw three interceptions or get, like, happy feet, the Colts could do some damage in the playoffs. But that, So I don't think there's any way they lose this game. They need a win and they need help, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Phillip Rivers is definitely the X factor, but I think he's going to be more of an X factor in the playoffs. I, I already said that I think the Colts will – I think the Dolphins will lose and the Colts will get that spot. So I think the Colts will win this game. Jaguars will definitely give them a, a give them a fight. And but Jonathan Taylor, they've been running the ball tremendously. Jonathan Taylor's had a fantastic uh, stretch run here. So they got Hines. Uh, Hines is great. I like their running game, their defense, and then like the 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 less you hear about Rivers, the better the Colts will do. I think. Yeah, I mean, if it comes down to Rivers, if it comes down to Rivers doing a two minute drill and winning this game, then the Colts are going to lose. Oh, yeah, he'll throw it. got to take care of it early. All right, we've got Titans at the Texans. That's a mouthful right there. And, uh, Chris, who you got in the game? Well, let's see. I mean, I love – I've been a Texans fan all season. And uh, Why? I love Deshaun Watson. I think he's uh. <laughs> great. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been high on them. And oh, I've, uh, There's two teams that I thought – would come out better than they did, and that's uh, the Texans and the Giants, and the Giant, and they both just ended up disappointing me. Uh, but the, it's really the Texans' defense that has let them down. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you look—they gave up 31 points to uh, Cincinnati last week at home with JJ Watt on the field for every snap. I could not believe that. In fact, JJ right. Watt had a huge penalty that gave the Bengals uh, kept the Bengals' drive alive, and they ended up scoring a touchdown on that drive. So. I mean, no offense to J.J. Watt. I just happened to see that. And, you know, that's it's just – it was weird to see him make such a big mistake. And so they've kind of been a team that shot themselves in the foot. And I keep thinking – but their offense is very dynamic. And if they if they had all their receivers – I mean, they've really been relying uh, – last week they relied a lot on Brandon Cooks. 
and then they have some uh, younger and experienced guys. So, I mean, all that's to say is, uh, I think they won't. I don't think the Texans are going to win the game, but I, I, I think the ten, I think the Titans will bounce back and win it because there is an outside chance if the Titans lose this game, they could also not make the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, so, I think the Titans re- will will realize that, and the Titans are way, way too good a team not to be in the playoffs. That's the best part about the AFC is. The Browns, the Ravens, the Colts, uh, the Titans, and then uh, who was the other t- the other team we're talking about? The Dolphins. Those are all really good teams, and one of them is not going to be in the hunt, which is a shame. I think uh, I like all five of those teams a lot, and I I do like the Dolphins. I just I think they're going to be the ones that don't get in. Yeah, all those. Uh, so at, end of the day, ball. I'm going to take uh, the Titans. Sorry. All those teams can run the ball except really the Dolphins too, so that would make sense. I'll take the Titans as well. I think Henry will, you know, maybe run for 150 yards. I hate uh, Watts' publicity stunt of talking. Did you guys catch that? How he basically calling out the team and how they playing for the fans and they? Did you see that? No, I didn't I see that. Yeah, yeah. It, it seemed more like it was more for marketing his brand. It's you know everyone's gonna be like, yay, JJ Watt. He's standing up for the the fan. I just feel like you know. I wasn't big on that. I wasn't inspired by that. If I was like a Texan, I like. I mean, I like JJ Watt. I think he's a pretty genuine guy. I don't know if that if I take that the same way you do, but uh, it won't it won't be impacting the game in any way. <laughs> well, All right. I mean, the next yeah. one up, we got the Cardinals and the Rams, and in this one, I am going to go with the Rams, and I especially want to see the Rams win anyway because. On the off chance that the Bears lose to Green Bay, which is probably going to happen, they would need the Cardinals to also lose to make the playoffs. So I'm going to well, the winner that. of that game, the loser of that game we're talking about right now is out. Yeah, I believe so. So, I mean, Card- right? Cardinals, Rams, loser is out of the playoffs. Pretty much. What What are the Cardinals? Well, the Cardinals will be. I, the Rams, I'm not sure. Yeah, if they lose this game, more out. win than the than the uh, Rams. And Goff is not playing. This is the backup quarterback bowl. Yeah, never played, is, never taken a snap. Yeah, Jim Wolford from Toledo, I think, is going to be the quarterback yeah. for the Rams. Goff broke his thumb, and they had. They, I, I heard they elected him to have surgery because they thought that Kyler Murray is not going to play for the Cardinals. He's I don't need the Cardinals. I think he's going to play anyway. You think Kyler's going to play? That, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, I heard today he wasn't. So. Oh. Their backup quarterback is a guy I haven't heard of, Jim uh, something Schlebler maybe or something. <laughs> Schlebler it sounds like I don't know. Bob would say that. Wrong. Sounds like a guy Bob would but love it, his, down his team. It well, sounds I'm, like I'm, this, stick, I'm sticking with the Rams. So what do you got, Chris? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to go Cardinals, no matter what. I don't, if Murray plays or doesn't play, I'm going Cardinals. I'm, right. going, I'm going Rams. I, they got a better defense, if, especially if Kyler Murray's not playing. I don't, I think the Rams defense has to do something. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Donald will take over the game. Yeah, let's hope. He, he was he looked good against the Seahawks, but uh, didn't help him. All right, the next one we got is the Saints at the Panthers. And uh, Dave, what do you got in this one? Uh, Saints, because they got a shot, I think, at the number one seed. Yeah, they do. If they the do. Bears win, if, if there's the Bears a two-way, t- if the Bears win. And there's a three-way tie, Packers, Saints, uh, Seahawks. The Saints get the first round bye. So they're just a better team. I mean, Kamara, even if they just run the ball all day, they're going to beat the Panthers. So Right. I mean, you hope. I mean, that's a, this is another – yeah. I mean, I would, I, I'll take the Saints as well. All right. So we got – we all three agree on that. All three going with the Saints. Mm-hmm. And the next one is my game of the week, the Bears and the Packers. And for That's me, your game of the week, not Redskins Eagles. <laughs> Gosh, you're going out on a limb. <laughs> it's the Bob Zolke game of the week. That's the Bob Zolke game of the week. And I am taking the Packers in this game because I'm setting up a two way, no lose situation. If I pick the Packers and they win, I get the pick right. And if I get the pick wrong, the Bears go to the playoffs. So, hey, here's the question: Who right now? This is a great question for you guys. 
honest answers. Who has the better offense right now, the Bears or Dallas? Uh, I would say the the Bears, the way they're playing. I, would I mean, both of those offenses have just exploded over the last month, right? I mean, it's incredible. They have. And I wonder if they play each other right now, I'm like, I wonder who would win that game. You know, I mean, the Bears, I think, might have a little better defense. Yeah. But, man, that, that would be a great game to watch right now. I wish they were playing each other in Week 17. People hate. People hate on – I've, I've hated on the Bears. I've, I I still kind of like Trubisky. I don't hate the guy. I think if you – if you, and I've tweeted this, but I, no one follows me on Twitter. The Bears follow – if they were to hire Eric Bieniemy, I think that saves Trubisky's career, hands down. If, they're, if the Bears are smart. Regar regarding this game, I kind of would like to see the Bears win. I just can't – Aaron Rodgers is he, – he's unstoppable. Right. I mean, well, with what you just said, too, the Packers do have something to play for. And, and so, Roger play, if Rodgers plays – it's in Chicago, so you never say never. But, man, the way Rodgers looked the other night, forget about it. And, I mean, yeah. Devontae Adams, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. And, the, and their, uh, their tight two end. Backs, two running backs, too. That, that Dylan carried the ball well. and A.J. Aaron Dylan from, from B.C., yeah. And their defense is playing a lot better. Those those two end rushers, the Packers, their defense, that's what's scary about the Packers is their offense is really good, but their defense has gotten better right at the yeah, right time. I mean, so. it wasn't just the snow that slowed down the Titans. And they played that seven-man front and just shut down, I mean, Henry. I mean, he ended up with like 98 yards, but it was on like how many carries? 25? He, yeah. Was, they yeah, really they shut him down. And his lowest was, output of the, or second lowest output of the year or something. So. Yeah. I mean, the Packers are on a roll right now. So, I'll yeah. go Packers. Yeah. All right. So, everybody taking the Packers? Taking the Packers, but rooting for the Bears. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah I'm also rooting for the Bears on this point. Obviously, but. I want to see that Haley get fired. Next I want to see Bob in the playoffs because then it gets really crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next one we got is Chargers Chiefs. And Chargers Chiefs. Yeah, the Chargers. Um, Chargers, Chargers against the JV. And the Chiefs. I'm going to go with the Chargers, especially because Mr. Dufour earlier, I believe, pointed out that um, uh, Patrick Mahomes will not be playing for the Chiefs. So I'm going yeah. with Kelsey, Mahomes, Hill. I don't think any of them are going to play. Yeah, I go with Chargers on that then. Justin Herbert's had a great rookie year. So. Yeah, yeah, he's got a rookie record for the NFL, 28 touchdown passes in 16 weeks. Well, and he, didn't, he didn't start till his first start was against the Chiefs, and he almost beat them. Yeah. So he played great. That was his debut. So Chargers. Yeah, I'll go Chargers too. All right. So we have a consensus on that one. And that brings us to the Seahawks and the 49ers. Oof. Look at that new football, dude. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's signed by you? That, are we not putting that up for auction? Not yet, no. We're killing Bob here. We got 15 minutes. That's I know. We got 15. I don't know where he's going. We got like two games left with 15 minutes. 15 man. minutes I mean, to talk about this. We're going to talk about 14 minutes. Bob's here. We're going to break down this game position by position. All right. That sounds good. Let's save that for Redskins Eagles. Seahawks 49ers. Who you guys got? You, you start, Bob. I want to hear your input. All right. Well, I'm You're Sportsman I'm, Z, right? I am Sportsman Z. You're the legend. I am Sportsman Z, who apparently does not go in depth enough <laughs> in how I talk about the games and why I think teams are going to win. But it's all about helmet placement. <laughs> You haven't chucked a single helmet this this episode. You got to chuck at least one. All right, I'm no. Chuck the next two. Come on, next two games. Chuck a helmet. <laughs> chuck a helmet. All right. Um, in this one, I am going to go with the Seahawks. I think the Seahawks are clearly the better team. Um, I don't know how. Really, I don't know how the 49ers managed to beat the Cardinals last week. I mean, C.J. Beathard was their their quarterback. And I, I, even with the Seahawks' somewhat questionable defense, I think they'll be able to stop better. So well, I, don't, I don't know how questionable their defense is. Their defense did a great job on the Rams. Yeah. Well, the, uh, I think the reason they lost is because Jeff Wilson ran for about 180 yards. Yeah. 
So that means he, he had a great, he had a great, and, but Beathard was very good. And let, you know, let's, let's give him some credit. I mean, he was very good. He hadn't started in what over a year and yeah, uh, yeah. he looked good. And, you know, he won a game. His brother was murdered last year and he, and this is his first start since then. And he, and he comes out and he wins it. I, I thought that was a tremendous story overshadowed by a few other things this week, but. And he was thrown to his old tight end from Iowa, Kittle. Kittle, yeah, Kittle was there. Yeah, Kittle was back in action, and that's a that's a bonus for the Niners too. So if you're if you're a Niners fan, you couldn't be more proud than this team because every they've had so many injuries, devastating. Yeah. And they and the, and the next guy just always seems to step up, and they figure out they figure out. I mean, they should be like probably three and thirteen, you know, based on the injuries and everything. But they've played really well. I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and just say the Niners are going to upset the Seahawks. I don't know. I mean the Seahawks have so much to play for, but you know it's interesting. I don't I don't particularly like the Seahawks offense. I mean Russell Wilson is very good. Uh but man, they got great receivers. Yeah. No, they do. I mean Metcalf is good and I mean and but geez, I don't know. I didn't I they did, I, I thought the Rams did a pretty good job on them. But uh, they won out in the end, so oh, that's a tough one. I'm, but it's in Seattle, isn't it? It is. Uh, no, it's in. It's in San. Well, San Francisco. It's in Arizona. wherever they're playing. In Arizona. In Arizona yeah, they're gonna play in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny too. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take the Seahawks. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Second to last game we got is the Raiders at the Broncos. Oh, yes, the Broncos making a pick. Uh, what about the Eagles and the – are we going to do the Eagles game? Yeah, he said next to last. We got oh, one more. Okay. Game. Yeah. Right. yeah. Do the Sunday night game. All right, so who we got there, Chris, in this one? Raiders. Broncos are – I think they wrapped it up, man. I think they've gone home mentally. Although they did rally against the Chargers, you know. But they didn't win the game, so I, I you know, I'm gonna go. But the, the, I mean, the, both these teams are out of it, so Broncos are home. Uh, Broncos are home, yeah. Yeah, I picked. And the last time I was on your show, I picked the Broncos to beat the Raiders, and the Raiders beat them up. So I'll take the Broncos again. Why not? You're gonna take the Broncos again? Yeah, man. why not? I, I love the Broncos. You know me. They have really nothing to lose, and the Raiders have nothing to play for. So the Raiders Mile high magic on the last Sunday. The Raiders are a mess. I thought uh, I liked. They were like six and three, weren't they? Yeah, they were. No, they were. They There's were one game behind the Chiefs mid at midseason. They're seven and eight now. What a disaster! What a disaster! I'm gonna. I'll go Broncos. I think the. No, I think the Raiders are spiritually broken. I think both these teams are spiritually <laughs> broken. It's, it's a real toss-up. I'm not a big fan of the Broncos. Co I don't know enough about the Broncos. I, I probably – the only Broncos play – I've seen like three Bronco plays this year. But I really – I'm just going on the fact that the Raiders – I mean, the, the Raiders have more talent, you know, I think. Oh, yeah. Love well, I'm going to go with the Raiders, and that means get the Broncos out of here. Yeah, chuck it. Chuck that helmet. Nice throw, Bobby. <laughs> Maybe when you throw helmets, you have a sound effect where it sounds like an explosion. Or a crash. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> like right. when your team oh. like when your 1985 Stratomatic team crashed, remember? Yeah. Like yeah when, they, when they died in a plane crash, right. In a trash can, I believe, was accurate, more accurate. All right. So we've got we've got the Washington football team at the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh Oh, I just got a memo that you. Yeah. Just, We're unlimited, man. Minutes you now. Moved the forty-minute time limit on your yeah. group meeting. All right, so now we can do every game over again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Bobby. So we've got Washington at Philadelphia. As you probably know, the uh, Redskins, or no, not the Redskins, the Washington Football Team. Yeah, has don't throw out that name. They released Haskins, so I'm going to guess that Alex Smith is going to play for the Washington football team. And because of that, I, and the fact that if they win, they're in, and they don't need to care about anything else, I'm going with Washington. Matt? 
Uh, I was when I heard that they released Haskins, I was disappointed because if Haskins was starting this game, then Dallas is basically in the playoffs if they win because Haskins is. Uh, and Alex Smith, he's a smarter player. He's more veteran. Is Fletcher Cox playing for the Eagles? I don't know. He got carted off, right, or taken out. Is he done for the year? I'm not sure. I haven't heard I know, I know. Yeah, because after he left, the Eagles fell apart. They were up 14 to three, and then he left, and they lost 37 to 17. So, I mean, I lean towards the Redskins, but I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that Jalen Hurts is gonna figure out a way, despite the what he's going to be up against as far as the Redskins defense. The, the Redskins defense is far superior. Yeah, the Redskins, de have they have a good defense. And from what I heard, they said even if uh, – some guys have speculated that even if Alex Smith is 70%, he's going to play. So, Yeah, yeah he's got I think it. Alex Smith will play. Yeah. I just don't think the Redskins – or, excuse me, the Washington football team are going to win. Why is that? I think the Eagles are going to are going to – play this like it's the Super Bowl. I think Doug Peterson's going to have them ready, and I think they're going to be Washington, and the Cowboys will be in the playoffs. Even though they're out, even though the Eagles got nothing to play for? I mean, I feel like I'm pick, I'm pick the Eagles, I think mostly because I want to see Dallas in the playoffs, but. Yeah, I mean, sometimes these games, uh, and, you know, they're on the, you know, I mean, I, I just have a feeling I'm going to go Eagles. I'll go Eagles. I, I mean, I, I like how Jalen Hurts has been playing. He did turn the ball over a lot, but they were playing from behind. I, I, I think he's going to get better. Yeah. I don't know how he's played. So we'll see. They, like you said, the Redskins' defense is superior. So if they show up, they could make a, uh, a yeah, long, it long day. Good. It's going to be if the if for the Redskins to win this game, it it's got it's got to be low scoring, like twenty to seventeen. Yeah, even maybe even lower than that, yeah. maybe like sixteen, thirteen, or something. Yeah, exactly. I think if the Eagles score over. Uh, 17 points and the Eagles win. All right. All right. So that is the last game, but I want to go back to the Bears for a second. And going back out, to the Bears. I'm going to go back to the Bears because I want to point out something to you guys that I, I don't know. Did you guys see this where Steve Kornacki was on um, the NFL primetime show on Sunday night? Yeah. Who is yeah, it? He was talking yeah. about the Bears. Wow. NBC and, primetime, not the. He said. Not he the, said he said when the Bears started at 5-1, and one, they had an 80% chance of making the playoffs. Then they lost six straight, and they fell to 5-7. To and seven. And at that point, they had an 8% chance of making the playoffs. And then they won the last these last three games that they played, and the Cardinals have been playing bad and lost to the 49ers. And so now their chance of making the playoffs is back up to 70%. That's All right. That is, yeah, that's a serious roller coaster ride right there. That's <laughs> coming in late. There Mr. Furnace. <laughs> How are you? Is that the new furnace behind you? Uh, no. You got a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, my old one did. He's inside his furnace. <laughs> that's unbelievable. That's a beautiful <laughs> furnace, Jimmy. <laughs> furnace. Yeah, the furnace, that set me back. <laughs> well, it, it set you so far back, you missed. All the picks. All right, so really quick, oh, really. really quick, we're going to go down the list, and I'm going to ask Jim who he's going to pick really quickly. Right. Vikings oh, and Lions, who you got? Two-minute drill. Vikings. Vikes. All right, and then we've got Falcons and Buccaneers. Bucks. All right, Bucks. This is and the Zulky way. No explanation. Just go. We got Jets and Patriots. Jets. Nice. Nice, yep, love it. And then we got um, Dolphins and Bills. Uh, Bills. All right. Don't even let them finish, Jim. Just throw a team name out. <laughs> start, yeah, don't even, All right. You don't even know who's playing. Just start throwing out wins. Steelers and Browns. Uh, Browns. Wrong. <laughs> Roethlisberger's not playing. Oh, he's not. He's we not. we got to do the video. No. <laughs> I already picked the Browns. I'm still, not I'm redo the video. The Steelers. I'm still sticking with the Steelers. All right. Of course you are. Right, so we got Stop. Cowboys and Giants. Oh my God! Who cares? Um, Cowboys. All right. <laughs> and then we got um, Ravens and Bengals. Uh, Ravens. All right, Ravens. 
And and by the way, the only reason that this is even possible is because uh, Zoom gave me a Christmas present and they said they're not going to put a time limit on my video. So, <laughs> all right. But everybody. Yeah. Jags yeah. and Colts. Uh, the Colts. All right. Um, the Titans. Jags want Trevor Lawrence too bad. They're not going to let that slip. Well, away. they got him. They got him. Yeah. They got him. Titans and Texans. Ah, uh, the Titans. All right. We got a clean sweep on the Titans. Um, cards at Rams. Uh, the Cardinals. Goff's not playing. All right. We have some intel that Murray might not either. So, <laughs> well, we, uh, without, I mean, Goff's backup hasn't taken a snap in an NFL game. Yeah. Do pointed that out. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same page, Do. We've got, uh, we've got to be on a page with somebody. Jimmy. We got Saints at Panthers. Um, the Saints. I'm going Saints. Yeah, I don't think you have to hesitate on that one. Oh, um, Packers and the Bears. What do you got there? My God, the Bears don't have a chance. That's all right. bad. We got a clean sweep on the Packers. Going blowout though. Then we got the Chargers at the Chiefs, and Mahomes and a lot of the Kansas City players are not going to be playing. Chiefs. <laughs> You're still going Chiefs. Uh, so. Chiefs anyway. I like their second team better than I like the Chargers. All right. Seahawks at 49ers. Seahawks. Seahawks. There we go. That's still your team, James? What's that? That's still your team? He's in their yeah. stadium. He's in, yeah. right? Isn't that that? Is that their stadium? Oh, I thought that was Westchester Stadium. Sorry. That, uh, that stadium is uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Oh, that's right. Because it's not open. That's right. Tottenham. Uh, we got Raiders, Broncos. Uh, Raiders. Raid? The Raiders. The Raiders. And finally, we got the Washington football team at Philly. Philly. There's no way I can pick Philly. There's just no <laughs> way. I'm going Washington. I don't what, care what, who quarterbacks. What Am I the only one who picked Philly, Bob? Oh, I did. Um, I Yeah, I picked Washington. So you you two guys, Dave and, and Doof, you picked uh, Philadelphia. So it's me. Like Washington's going to win. What's, what, what are the Eagles radio stations saying, Jimmy? Uh, that the Eagles stink. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what they're saying. saying. They're, they're saying that when they're good. So yeah, we have a market. guest picker. <laughs> hey, it's a guest. Oh, there we go. Guest. Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Bring him back. Bring him back. <laughs> Maddie with the backhand. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Soft touch back in. I know. She I know. Yeah, she's, she's all about, evidently, she likes the Dallas Cowboys because she likes that blue star on their helmet. Yeah. I think that's why Dave picked him when he was Way back when, when he was like four. Yeah. <laughs> but she also chair. likes the Eagles. And, and just for me, she goes, touchdown, Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So because I do not know when they're going to shut this off, I'm just going to say right now we can stay on. We can stay on after this, but I'm going to say right now that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. <laughs>